facts about Dan Harmon's new animated show Rick and Morty. In 2013, Rick and Morty premiered on Adult Swim and quickly amassed a huge following of fans who became obsessed with the show's dark humor and sci-fi plots, created by Dan Harmon, Community, and Justin Roiland. The show focuses on the outlandish adventures of crazy super genius Rick Sanchez and his timid grandson Morty Smith, both of whom are voiced by Royland. Here are 12 facts about the Adult Swim animated series, which is set to air the remainder of its third season in summer 2017. 1. Dan Harmon's film festival spurred his collaboration with co-creator Justin Royland. The creative duo behind Rick and Morty, Dan Harmon and Justin Roiland, became acquainted through Channel 101, Harmon's non-profit short film festival. Roiland would submit pieces for the festival that was intended to just shock people but that Harmon found hilarious. When Adult Swim contacted Harmon to create a 30-minute animated series for the network, he thought Royal and Sensibilities would be a perfect fit for the network because, as Harmon put it, he is the target for a lot of their stuff, and he's also, like me, really passionate about story and franchise. 2. The show was inspired by Royal and's vulgar take on Back to the Future. The basic foundation of Rick and Morty spun out of one of Royal Land's earlier Channel 101 ideas called The Real Animated Adventures of Doc and Marty. The relationship between Rick and Morty has always taken cues from Doc Brown and Marty McFly from Back to the Future, but Royal Land's earlier stab at the idea really drove this point home with a lurid twist. At this point in his career, Royland was simply daring lawyers to come after him, and nothing exemplified his mindset more than his X-rated Doc and Marty. I actually made this as a way to poke fun at the idea of getting cease and desist letters. At the time, October 2006, I had nothing to lose and my original intention was to call this Back to the Future. The new official Universal Studios cartoon featuring the new Doc Brown and Marty McFly and then I just sit back and wait for a letter from their lawyers to arrive. That's actually why it's so filthy. I was just looking to troll a big studio. Though Rick and Morty's final form is safely removed from the litigious and public relations nightmare that Royal and's original cartoon was, he says, some of the raw energy of the voice performances is sort of still intact, especially for Rick. That's the beginning of it. 3. Harmon views Rick as the scene between God and man. Though you can enjoy Rick and Morty simply as a zany cartoon with some crude humor, you can also dive deeper into the human condition and wrestle with the existence of God itself through these characters. Harmon in a video promoting the show's second season, talked about how the series is constantly searching for some sort of meaning in the meaninglessness of life. One of the main conflicts, according to Harmon, is the idea of the creator against the created. This is seen in Rick's apathy toward his own creations throughout the show, like a Bridolf Linkler, Rick's half Lincoln, half Hitler experiment that's hell bent on revenge. Harmon calls Rick the seam between God and man, and his nihilistic apathy toward his own creations is echoed in Joseph Campbell's belief that God is an impersonal cosmic force. On a more cheerful note, Harmon disagrees with Rick's sentiment that nothing really matters, saying that type of philosophy gets you nowhere. 4. The show's pilot was written in six hours. The first episode of Rick and Morty was written by Harmon and Royal and just moments after their pitch got sold to Nick Weidenfeld, the head of program development for Adult Swim. With Harmon still on community, schedules would be tied once production on the show ramped back up, so it was important to get working on Rick and Morty as soon as possible. In an interview with the Los Angeles Times, Harmon said, we were sitting on the floor, 
cross-legged with laptops and I was about to get up and go home and he said, wait, if you go home, it might take us three months to write this thing, stay here right now and we can write it in six hours. The pilot was written that day, which Royland described as kind of lightning in a bottle. 5. Adult Swim premiered an episode in 10915 second chunks on Instagram. Rick and Morty doesn't just subvert expectations on the screen, the show's creators do everything in their power to go against the grain when it comes to marketing and distribution as well. The most recent example came on April 1, 2017 when the show held its season 3 premiere without any advertising or promotion, leaving fans to scramble to watch it before it disappeared. The most interesting exercise in offbeat marketing happened during the show's first season, though, instead of debuting the episode Rick's Tea Minutes in its normal time slot, Adult Swim surprised everyone by releasing the episode three days early, on Instagram, in reverse. The official Rock and Morty Instagram page uploaded 109, 15 second clips of the episode in reverse order, causing fans to scroll and click and scroll some more in order to get the whole story. In typical Adult Swim fashion, they responded to the publicity stunt by saying, It's our latest frustrating exercise in audience of the episode in reverse order. Finally, fans if to you like this video click, click the button like and, more and subscribe to, to our channel. Story. In typical Adult Swim fashion, they responded to the publicity stunt by saying, It's our latest frustrating.